Welcome to Retro Upgrade. I'm finally done with the Greencast fan mod for the VA0. As you can see here on the video, the lid opens just fine. I have the shroud in, and here is the modified latch. And it works perfectly. It took a while to make this. I'm just going to take out the latch and show you the original one and what it looks like and what we need to change. As you can see, it's quite thick. Sorry for the blurry image. I'll fix it in a second. There we go. So the spring goes on the top. So that's the main thickness. So we have to make it so we can pull it from the side instead. Should work fine. There are two screws and one spring. Just put them away. Okay, so th this latch works by uh, the spring pulling it back so it latches on the CD tray. And when you push the button, it pulls it uh, the other way so that you can release the CD cover. This time I started. A little bit differently with 3D modeling. I remade the original part. All the measurements were exact, so I had a starting point to modify the part. It's just a matter of measuring and recreating in Fusion 360. It's not really that hard. The hard part is if it has some compound curves uh, or maybe some angles that are not visible for the eye, like a 0.1 degree or something. But usually this works. Yeah, I'm making the corners here. It's important to have a exact copy just in case, because if the exact copy fits, your modified copy will fit too, because you use the same mounting points. There is one caveat to this, and that's the printer's resolution. So my printer is not accurate enough to make a perfect part, so I need to keep that in mind when I do the modifications. My printer has an error of 0.2 millimeters. It's not much, but it's enough to make sliding parts bind so I had to redo this part a few times you'll see that in a few minutes this is the actual spring holder it's the highest part that's the part we need to remove I forgot to save during the the design process do not do that you will regret it later especially if fusion crashes and it happens more than often as you can see it has a slope uh, the hook this is what keeps the latch in and what keeps the CD lid down I put uh, some small bumps that are on the original part these bumps uh, make it slide easier because it doesn't contact an entire surface on the bottom. The bumps are tactile. Uh, you, you can feel the bumps, but you can't actually see them uh, when you 3D print them. The part is done. checking some sizes here and I started modifying it now I removed the spring holder I was planning on pu putting it on the side I'm also going to reduce the thickness it's not necessary the parts will slide inside just with a little lip like I left there the backside needs to be higher because the 
the screw is a little bit higher up on the tower so that's the only part I can't really modify I'm rounding out the corner that meets the button that pushes it back just so it doesn't bind on the corner I'm going to leave the original part as a free download on cults.3d just in case if someone breaks theirs and uh, there they can get a spare part from that way because this part is not available to buy anywhere that I can see I'm thinking of doing a patreon tier so you can download everything I do just for being a patreon instead of actually selling the parts I make I need to start making some money on YouTube I'm making zero because I'm under a thousand subscribers I'll do it this way if I get to a thousand subscribers I'll put these files up for free I'm a ways away so I'm only 12% in so if you share and like and uh, just get subscribers for me eventually this uh, latch and fan shroud combo will be available for free for everyone I'm doing some slopes here just to mitigate the overhangs so the 3d printer can print them without too many supports it still needed some but it still works oh, I managed to 3d print this uh, with three supports instead of the normal grid ones my printer has some issues letting go when I go with the grid but the three supports work really well as you can see the hook on the side is the new hook for the spring I'm co covering up the holes and just bringing them down just to not make too many overhangs the holes are not used for anything I'm rounding uh, out some corners as well just to make it look nice so this is the first prototype it's pretty much done as always I forgot to change the size inside the holes so they are if I had the perfect 3d printer it would have worked fine because it's the same size as the original part but because of my printer not being the best in the market it has some tolerance issues so this uh, version didn't really work that well I 3d printed it here are the supports there's a lot of supports but this part is really hard to print because it has a lot of overhangs doesn't matter how you oriented it so you need you need supports either way I'm thinking of splitting up the model and just printing it flat and then putting on the hook that could work but there are some issues that you could, will break the hook when you put it in or the hook is not stable enough afterwards so I'll leave it like this for now when I do some more experimenting off camera the pre 3d print is now done I'm just peeling it off from the bed I'm, I use painters tape because the the 3d printers bed is damaged it came faulty the printer when I bought it it was a prototype so it crashed down into the bed it's an aluminium bed so it has a small scratch on it so it shows up on the prints so I use some tape and it works fine time for some cleanup of the 3d parts from the supports they're quite easy to get off and it get off, uh, gets them off cleanly because I forgot about the tolerance problem with the holes I have to do some sanding as well I use some files for that normally I file away 
inside I have a rounded file and I have a square file and the flat one just in case for big flat areas as you can see it looks nice it looks exactly like the picture I'm putting it side by side here because we removed the small hook on the top it's a lot thinner and the part on the bottom doesn't matter it just needs to reach the CD latch but it matches up quite well I'll put up two versions of the original part one with uh, the holes exactly as they are and one with a modified hole with a little bigger hole inside so if you have a normal-ish 3d printer you should be able to print it and use it a lot of filing here just to smooth out every corner I sped up the video so you don't have to suffer through this too much now I try to put it on first and it's binding on the back post because I didn't uh, file enough of, of it but looking at it right away the back post works the front post that's near the button doesn't work at all it just binds and it clicks in so I need to f file some more and try it again but this also tells me if I just make the holes bigger in fusion I shouldn't have to file it that much And you can see here the latch hook so I'm holding down the latch uh, so I can test on the button now I'm picking up the stuff I need here's a tip when you're putting on the spring be careful I stabbed myself with the pointy part and it went into my skin there it, there it went in completely it didn't hurt that much but just be careful when you do that and this is really really fiddly as you can see uh, <laughs> I'm really trying here and it stung quite a lot the spring this is another change I'm going to make on version 2 is the spring is too far away now because it goes around the corner instead from over the top to the side instead so need to shorten the distance so that the spring doesn't have to fight that much and the spring is not strong enough to pull the carriage because of the friction on the posts you see it moves but it doesn't move freely so if I make the holes a little bit bigger it should work I'm testing out the button and it pushes back so, uh, like it should I'm putting on the two screws just to make sure everything fits and slides like it should I know it's binding but that could easily be fixed by doing another, another revision of the prototype it pulls back but the spring is not strong enough to pull it back again so it's almost done so we need to go back to the drawing board and try it out the only thing I have left to test is if the hook engages the lid if it's far enough out so it catches on the lid I just wanted to test the fit with the fan and the shroud inside before I start printing stuff here I put in the screw for the fan and then the two small, two small screws for the fan shroud down to the main board or the case in this case I just tuck the fan connector back I'm going to resolder a new one on it I'm going to use the original one and as you can see it's the modified one 
it's a little fiddly to get on because of the controller ports uh, bracket. It normally binds on the front, but you can get it on with the shroud on. It's not hard, it's just a little bit tight. Another thing I could probably fix for the main shroud. As you can see, there is no gap. It's exactly the same around. It moves a little bit if you push down really hard, but that's because of the button faceplate. It doesn't stay down the lid, unfortunately, so the hook is a little bit too short. Could also be related to that the hook doesn't pull, pull in because it binds. As you can see here, I'm just testing out, checking if the hook is going in all the way. I really like the mod, how it turned out. And uh, it, yeah, as you can see there, I fixed the faceplate. Yeah, and the mod looks really good when it's inside. It works pretty good. It has a 40 millimeter fan inside. And should work with any fan. Here's the finished part. This is after 10 or 12 uh, versions I went through just fixing small stuff uh, sizes and uh, differences in height and the length of the hooks but finally it works with the spring and the new latch I extended the hook distance just a little bit so it would engage easier here you can see the free movement of the spring and the latch and this is directly from the print bed just uh, took off the supports and uh, put it right on no sanding or filing it, this took forever to make if you find this useful please give me a subscribe and like this took a lot of work These kinds of projects make videos really long to make. But this is really satisfying having your own mod on the market. And like I said, I will put this up for free when I reach 1000 subs because you would think maybe I'm making some money from YouTube by then. But until then, this will be available on Patreon for the lowest tier. You will be able to download everything I make and also on cults 3d for a one-time price just to download the file I would recommend patreon because uh, the one-time price will be higher thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this and if you want more information about the mod just ask if you want to support this channel or my work just give me a subscribe and like and maybe consider patreon Thank you. Bye.